Hello everyone, this is Simon, your host for the Modern Awakened Perspective, your map for the path to enlightenment. Uh, in this video, I want to discuss the, uh, the downfall of Canadian crypto exchange uh, Quadriga CX. Now, I've never used that exchange myself, but it is uh, evidently a fairly large exchange, and the fact that it has failed is um, a pretty big story because it shows why you need to have uh, your private keys in your own hands. Uh, before I get into this video, please like and subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. All that helps make uh, this content uh, get in the, the hands of more people. Helps YouTube uh, push it into the recommended category. So let me get into the story here. Now this is a, a Canadian exchange, as I was saying. And uh, it's a pretty interesting story, to say the least. Um, the, uh, the founder, I guess the CEO also, named Jerry Cotton, um, was the sole uh, person who was in charge of the uh, private keys of the, uh, the cold wallet, which is where all the uh, crypto assets were kept uh, offline. And now the hot wallet is basically all the coins on the exchange that are uh, being traded daily. So the majority, I suppose, were inside the cold wallet and it was millions and millions of dollars. So uh, what happened was that uh, Mr. Cotton was supposedly in India to go and start an orphanage for children in need uh, when he passed away due to complications from Crohn's disease. Uh, now what's odd is that he didn't die just immediately. He he, uh, you know, was in the hospital for a while, evidently, but didn't give anybody else access to the uh, private keys there. So without him being able to access um, the coins, now the employees there are able to access um, what may or may not be in the cold storage. Now, whether that is or is not the truth doesn't matter. The fact is that uh, no one can access the keys. So whether the coins are actually there or if he scammed everybody and faked his death and walked away with them, uh, it's actually irrelevant. Uh, there has been no uh, proof that, you know, he was over there starting an orphanage or any of those things. So it's highly suspicious that, you know, it's sort of a, a scam. But uh, regardless of that, the moral of the story is that uh, you need to have your coins, your assets, even gold and silver or whatever it is, any asset in your own hands and not in the hands of a third party uh, so that, uh, you know, you're, you basically need to be in control of your own funds. Uh, be your own bank, as I like to say. So uh, what has happened is that anybody who had uh, coins in their account on the exchange are not able to withdraw them uh, because... Uh, the coins that are in, in the cold wallet are not able to be accessed if they are actually there. So this company is now filing for bankruptcy. And so basically everybody who had uh, coins on there are not able to withdraw them and they are screwed. They are out of luck com completely. So I don't know if maybe uh, they'll be able to access uh, or get their funds back. Uh, in bankruptcy court or, or whatever, but it's if they are able to it'll be quite a while and quite a headache so the best bet is to uh, Have your own private key with the coins in your own control That's the whole point of the blockchain in my opinion and the best part of this technology is that you're now Capable of being your own bank and you don't have to trust anybody you don't have to uh, leave your assets in the hands of a third party whatsoever. So these people are going to learn the hard way by losing millions and millions of dollars uh, when they could have easily just had control of the funds themselves. It's quite easy to do. And if you're into crypto already, uh, it should be easy for you to do. And it's not that hard to learn about. So basically, uh, I feel sorry for the customers, but this is an important lesson they need to learn. So, uh, I don't know how you feel about this. Uh, maybe you feel sorry for them. Uh, I'm really starting to not feel sorry for these people. 
uh, the Proof of Keys event that was on January 3rd is a, uh, a movement to, to push people to have the coins in their own possession. That's really the only way to guarantee that you have those assets. If you uh, count on any exchange staying open and uh, being there for you when you need your coins, uh, you never know what may happen. You never know what kind of events may happen. Even if this really truly is the truth that this guy passed away, he took the secret of um, the knowledge that would gain access to these coins in cold storage uh, with him. So it all seems a little suspicious, but regardless, the moral of the story, like I said, is be your own bank. So thank you for your time. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and the comment section will be open. All right. Thank you, guys.